Hey guys, we are in the structural geology video series and this video will give you an outline about the lineations. And for this topic, I had referred the book Structural Geology, Fundamental and Modern Development, S.K. Ghosh, Structural Geology by M. P. Billix. Welcome to my channel Success Guru and myself Panjanadam and let's get into the heading. So before going into the lineation, I just want to make sure there is a term called lineament and that is before from the lineation. Okay. So a lineament is expressed on the surface of the earth as a relatively straight line and it is specifically present the trace of a fracture or a fractural system on a surface. Some lineation are readily recognized on the topographic map or aerial photograph whereas other may be suggested by discontinuity of geological structures and some other may be suggested by alignment of a volcano. So this is what a lineament is and you can see here the image that shows a, a line like appearance on the topography. Whereas a lineation is a result of a parallelism of some directional properties in a rock such as long axis of formed in crystals, plate minerals or spherical grains may be oriented in a line to produce a lineation. A rock may have lineation without foliation. It may possess both foliation as well as lineation and the lineation may be primary, secondary or inherent. So this is the difference between the lineation and lineaments. Uh, to be precise, the lineaments or the geomorphic expression, whereas the lineation or the structural concept. Is that clear? So, with this idea, we will just get into the lineation. And as we are dealing with structural geology, and our primary interest is about the secondary structures. That is, here it is the secondary lineation. And actually, the secondary lineation is superimposed on the rock sometime after they were originally deposited or erupted or even intruded. The time lapse may be shorter or longer. Moreover, second lineation may be imposed on a rock more than once so that several different oriented relations will be present in a rock and all transition between the rock that possesses no lineation to a rock that shows excellent lineation. Right? So you can see there are two images here A and B which is the two extent of a lineation that is a rock without a lineation and the B1 is the rock with an excellent uh, orientation of minerals okay so the linear structure of different types are almost always found in a deformed rock so this is what uh, according to clause 1964 although the term lineation is generally restricted to penetrative linear structure the distinction between penetrative and non-penetrative linear structure is not always sharp as you know if you see a middle orientation on the side of the rock and if the same thing is uh, passed into the body of the rock then it is called as a penetrative structure and if you see something that is on the surface of the rock but those structures if it is not uh, present inside the body of the rock then it is called as non-penetrative structure if you remember the striations and slicon slides that could come under this type of uh, non-penetrative structures right all, uh, moreover, a non penetrative linear structure can often be used in geometrical as well as kinematic analysis in the same way as lineation. So, we don't uh, have any problem in considering both that is, the penetrative as well as non penetrative structures. So, that is what we are going to see in this uh, upcoming slides. So, the formation of secondary lineation is the first stage of deformation that is tectonic if large scale. So, the presence of a lineation in a rock shows the rock has been deformed. That is, if the presence of the second lineation in a rock should be due to the presence of a tectonic deformation. The or orientation of the lineation related to the major structure and origin depends on the kind of lineation. In general, lineation is systematically related to the major fold, that is, if secondary origin. The attitude of deformation, deformed pebbles, zoolites, and grains of such mineral as quartz are generally related in some systematic way to the associated fold. But the relation may differ in different area and in different part of the same fold. So this is what the generalized outline about the lineation and we are going to see some of the types of lineation, right? So the mineral lineation that is the first type. So the mineral lineation is a penetrative structure uh, marked by some parallel alignment of elongated mineral. A uh, mineral lineation may be developed by parallel arrangement of the crystal of elongate habit, like you know, long hornblende crystal in some amphiboles and streamlined needle in condolites. 
A common type of mental alignment uh, lineation is found in the phyllite and mica cyst with a sub parallel arrangement of leaf shaped mica flakes on the foliated surface. So, probably this will be the first stage of deformation that is the mineral lineation, which shows that there is an action of an external stress, and due to that, the mineral have been lineated according to the stress direction, right? So, the second type is called the lineation marked by structure grain. Probably this will be the second stage of that uh, deformation that is due to the external stress. There are grains like quartz, feldspar, calcite, something like that. These minerals uh, tend to stretch and that stretching used to show a preferred oriented direction. Then that type of lineation is called as lineation marked by stretch grain. So the very first stage what happens due to the less amount of pressure, the needle like minerals tend to align in a line, right. In the second stage what happens, the even um, mineral without any proper shape will try to deform that is try to elongate and show preferred orientation. Then there is a still third stage that is called as lineation marked by deformed pebbles, suets and reduction spots. If the stress got, uh, get prolonged increases what happens, there are also bigger size of grains like pebbles or oolites or whatever it is and these grains also tend to deform and show some sort of orientation and that is called as lineation marked by deformed wibbles, sulites, reduction spots etc. And the next stage is considered as the lineation marked by elongated cluster of grains. Whenever there is an external stress, if it is uh, getting prolonged increasing, what happens? The grain join together and try to resist the external stress. And as a result, what happens? You can see the deformed or elongated cluster of grains. So you can see here within each cluster, the individual mineral may or may not show a preferred orientation. But if you see in a group, that shows a preferred orientation. Okay. So this will be like the fourth stage. That is, if the stress increases prolonged, then this stage may reach. And the next one is the intersectional lineation and the first one is the intersection of bedding and axial plane lineage. So you consider this is a fold that is an anticline. You can see here there are bedding planes and there are also uh, axial plane cleavage that we have already seen in the foliation class, right? So when there is a intersection of two planes, you can find there is a presence of a line. So you can see here there are too many lines. So these are the lines that is a line-like structure that could be called as a lineation. So this type of intersection lineation is formed due to the intersection of bedding plane as well as the axial plane cleavage. And the next one is the intersection of any two cleavages that could be a bedding plane or a cleavage surface or whatever it is. The trace of bedding on a cleavage surface appears as a colored strips. A similar color strip may also develop by the intersection of two cleavages when the earlier cleavage had a colored banding parallel to it. In certain rocks, a prominent lineation is marked by color stripping on the cleavage even when the bedding or earlier color band is not identified in the rock. The structure is best described as stripping lineation. A non likelihood such a stripping lineation or initiated as the intersection of lineation. Right? And the next one is the axis of relation. We can use this axis of relation along this axis as a type of lineation. Then the next one is the pressure shadow lineation and these are parallel spindle shaped pressure shadow zone on the foliation surface. The spindle shaped body is composed of quartz, biotite, chlorite or other minerals occur as a tailing on either side of a very competent grains of garnet, magnetite or other minerals. So when the external pressure is acting on it and there are two type of uh, say two strength range of strength of minerals the stronger mineral tend to be stay there whereas the weaker mineral try to align according to the stronger mineral and thus that will form a pressure shadow lineation and you can see this type of uh, lineations in uh, metamorphic rocks especially when you are talking about the metamorphic rock there are the organ texture like the organ nice so this could be formed due to the pressure shadow lineation. Then we are going to see about the non-penetrative structure that is uh, present the lineation that belongs to this type. The first one is the mullions and rods. The mullions are parallel pillar-like cylindrical structure 
which developed on a discrete surface. So these are the mullions in image and this is a mullion in the field which is almost a vertical mullion and this is formed the surface of which a set of mullion developed may be a bedding or a cleavage. So the breaking takes place along the surface and that forms the mullions. And the rods, according to Wilson 1953-1961, are long cylindrical bodies of vein quartz or other segregated minerals in the metamorphic rock that try to show as rod-like structure. So these are the rods, that is a non penetrative structure. Then the next one is the striations on slice and slice. As you know, the striations are the formed in a second slide that is due to the uh, movement of rock that is called uh, that is in a fault plane. So due to the movement what happens the one block of rock may scratch or uh, what do you call it, scrub on the other side of the rock right and that forms the striations on the slide and slide. In some cases stretching may be very obvious and clearly identified the direction of movement. At other places, a stretching caused by concentration of dark minerals along the certain line may be caused by the sliding of layer past one another. Then the last one is the, the non planetary structure is the axis of wooden, wooden age or sausage structure. You can see here there are two types of rock that is the incompetent rock as well as competent rock. When a stress is applied in this rock, what happens? The incompetent rock try to bend, whereas the competent rock will not bend and that will try to break uh, like this and this forms the sausage or boudinage structure. Uh, the cross section of the competent bed thickens and thins in such a way that similar to a stretching of a sausage parallel to the bedding on individual unit like a sausage lying side by side. The line of junction of the individual unit may be called as boudin line and is the lineation. The boudin line may be occur by quartz, feldspar, or some other minerals, the wooden age is clearly the result of a stretching at right angle to the wooden line. So, if this is the wooden line, you can simply say that the stress direction is perpendicular to this wooden line, that is, just acting in these two directions, right? The more brittle bit is that one that shows the wooden age, whereas the more ductile adjacent bit could yield a plastic, uh, plastically, the brittle bit first. And neck and then broke along the tensional fracture. So, so the formation of wooden in the first stage there will be necking, then that will break separately. And the size of the wooden may be ranges from very small to even up to 400 feet across. So you can see here there are the larger size of wooden which is almost 400 feet across. And that is having a 400 diameter, right? So we have seen what is a lineation and how the lineations are classified. And the next one is why to study lineation or the application of lineation that we will do it in a coming video as it is actually around more than 10 minutes right i group my videos according to the category that you can check in my playlist you can connect with us by mail facebook and instagram and these are the links you can support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day